what are machine tools a machine tool is a power driven machine used for producing the components of required shape and size with desired accuracy and surface finish by removing material from the work pieces work pieces are normally classified according to two criteria first according to the desired purpose as single purpose multi purpose or special purpose machine tool second according to the size of chip removed as machine tools with small size chips like a grinding machine polishing machine or machine tools with larger size chips like lathe machine and drilling machine speak about machine tools one of the most important types of tools are first the lathe machine a machine tool which holds the work piece securely between two rigid and strong supports while the work piece revolves the cutting tool is rigidly held and supported while being fed against a revolving work piece a lathe machine generally includes the following parts a bed b headstock c trailer d carriage e feed mechanism and f thread cutting mechanism it can perform a wide range of operations that include straight turning step turning eccentric turning paper turning facing drilling reaming mooring knurling and thread cutting second the drilling machine it produces holes in a solid material using a drill fitted in a drill chunk the rotating drill is made of harder material than that of the work piece and it is fed using a hand or power feed high amount of heat generated during the process makes use of coolant a necessity the basic elements of a drilling machine constitute of a a base b column c work table d drill head e spindle drive a typical drilling machine can perform a wide variety of operations that include drilling, reaming, boring, counter boring, counter sinking, spot fixing, tapping, etc. Third, milling machine. Milling is a process in which the metal removal takes place due to cutting action of a revolving cutter. The machine tool on which the milling operation is performed is called as a milling machine. A milling machine contains the following elements: A, base, B, column, C, knee, D, table, E, saddle, F, over arm, and arbor. A milling machine can carry out a lot of operations including plane milling, angular milling, form milling, slot or groove milling, saw milling or slitting, and keyway milling. Fourth, grinding machine. Grinding is the process of removing the material by the abrasive action of a revolving wheel on the surface of workpiece. The removal takes place in the form of small clips. Generally, the grinding wheel is mounted on a spindle driven by an electric motor. Due to the small size of the chips, grinding is considered as a finishing operation. Grinding machines are normally classified into two. First, rough or non-precision grinders. Second, fine or precision grinders. Fifth, broaching machines. Broaching is a machining operation in which a tool called a broach is used to make a small cut through the surface of the metal. The broach is either pushed or pulled with the help of a broaching machine. A broach is capable of removing material as deep as 6 mm in one stroke and is hence used to produce a variety of shapes. Broaching machines are classified on a myriad of categories like power employed, direction of movement of broach, cutting cycle, type of drive, and number of mill heads. Sixth, honing machines. Honing is an abrasive machining process that produces a precision surface on a metal workpiece by scraping an abrasive stone against it along a controlled path. Seventh, comes lapping machines. Lapping is also an abrading process used for improving the surface finish by reducing the roughness on the surface. A lapping machine normally consists of a stationary upper plate and a rotary lower plate. The workpiece is loaded in a conditioning rings on the lower plate. Lapping is mainly used for smoothing engine bolts, surface plates, and crank shafts. No machine tools are complete without the use of gears. Gears are manufactured from both metals and non-metals like cast iron, brass and aluminum. Generally, all gears are cut through gear generating process, which are first, gear shaper process. A pinion shaped cutter is used in the process which carries the tooth profile to be cut. A gear blank is introduced by the help of sliding head and is cut using a to and fro motion. It is suitable for medium and large size batches. Second comes hobbing process. The cutter used in this process is called hob. which is a worm like structure that carries a profile parallel to its axis the hob is rotated at a suitable speed and fed into the gear blank hence comes the end of the quick revision of the machine tools it's time for this episode's question what are multitasking machines it's time to answer our last episode's question what is use of lubricants in forging a lubricant is used as a thermal barrier to restrict heat transfer from the workpiece to the die it also acts as a parting compound to prevent the part from sticking to the workpiece so like subscribe and comment with your feedback to help us make better videos thanks for watching in the next episode of mechanical engineering insiders find out what joining processes are